What's up guys, City and Gaming here and welcome back to another video today. Before I start, I'd like to uh, apologize for no video yesterday, it's just YouTube was being a piece of crap and their uploader was broken for a couple hours so I couldn't get a video out and yeah, also sorry for the lag, but I have the skin mod on and the lobby lags like crazy for LBS, well, <laughs> see the lobby lags like crazy for LBSG. I have the skin mod on because it's constantly loading all those new skins. Anyway, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to port forward a server. This is probably the most asked question other than how do you record on my channel? People, I guess no one can use Google. Shout out to you guys. Uh, <laughs> so, that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today. It takes no jailbreak, it's for Android and iOS. You don't even have to install anything, it's really easy. The big downside is you end up making a local server for other people. Which, the only reason I said it's the downside is it can only fit, I think, four people. So, this isn't like a massive ten person server, but, I mean, it's, come on, come on. When do you ever need, like, more than that? Let's be honest here. So, yes, let's, let's just get right into this and if you're wondering where I am I'm in the LBSG lobby here just chilling and it's lagging like a butt and I shouldn't have chose to do this because it probably the footage play looks really bad but whatever so first you gotta go to your settings <clears throat> and you're gonna need to go to your Wi-Fi and you're gonna have to go into the more info for your Wi-Fi and that's the little blue thing for me and you're gonna click on that I don't know how it is on Android but there's definitely something like this so you're gonna click on that <clears throat> I'm sorry, just had to clear my throat. And there'll be something that says router, and mine is 192.168.2.1. Yours will probably be the exact same, like everyone's is 192.168.2.1. This is just in case yours is different. It probably will be the same. So once you get that, you're just gonna go into Safari or Chrome or whatever browser you really want to. And 192, there we go, go. And it should, well it will load this. Your Belkin, or your Wi-Fi pass, Wi-Fi pass, GG, GG, your, uh, your router uh, software. So yes, mine is Belkin as you just saw. This will be a slightly different depending on what router you have. But it's basically the same process, just slightly, slightly different. If you guys need help with this part, uh, send me pictures in the comments. I can try to help you out. But you have to send pictures if you're like, oh, it doesn't work, I can't help you. So you gotta go down. Mine is under firewall, and it's port forwarding. Yours may be under something different. Really just look through all the settings. But it's probably gonna be under firewall. Nope, not MAC address filtering, right here. There we go. Go to port forwarding. And here we are. Yours will look different if you're not on a Belkin router, but the basic stuff is the same. It's on, I make the description MCPE, duh, inbound port and private port 192, or 19132, because that's the default port for Minecraft Pocket Edition, just stick with that. Make it a TCP and UDP type. And now for the private IP address. What is that? Well... To find your private IP address, you're going to have to go back, click that little blue thing, and you're going to go this time to IP address. You're not going to go, you're just going to look. And mine is 192.168.2.4, so it's like the third device on the Wi-Fi, basically. That's kind of how it works, doesn't matter how it works, so that's your IP address. Now, some routers give you a new one every time your device restarts. There's not, there's settings to prevent that, but they're very different for each router, just look it up on the internet. Uh, but if your IP address keeps changing, it's still possible. Um, I, mine used to, and all of my original collabs were when my IP address kept changing every time I, you know, turned my device on and off. So, it's not a massive problem, but whatever. So you're gonna go back there, and that's why mine is point four because mine's the fourth. And there we go, that's it! Now you're really just gonna click save, and you have... A server that's actually it now to join this server you're going to have to search your right what is my what is my IP 
I'm not gonna search that because I'm not gonna show you my IP address. You search that up, it'll show your iPad or iPhone or Nexus or whatever device you have. It'll show its IP, and you're gonna give that IP to other people. Along with that, I just do the default port, but if you want a different port, you can give them a different port. And when you're on a Minecraft Pocket Edition world, they can join you. That's really it. Uh, side note, if you're testing this with someone, make sure it is not a custom map at first, because some custom maps have multiplayer bugs, and if it bugs out, and you think it's like my tutorial, it's it's not, bro chacho. So, yeah, that's that's really a good, again, again, send me pictures through like Yazo or however you pronounce it, or Dropbox if you're having problems and I can help you pick which settings you need. Now, if, you're, if your IP address changes every time your device restarts, some routers don't do this at all. Mine did. Um, I'll show you how to do it on a Belkin router. And if you're not on a Belkin router, it's going to be kind of difficult. So, yeah, also... I love you, Future Sidian. I know you have to blur out a lot of stuff. AK, my, you, ha you have to keep blurring out my password, but just remember that I love you. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My Wi-Fi was being stupid, and it just turned off. GG Media comes. So, for me, you just go to your connected devices for uh, if your IP keeps changing and crap. See, uh, not Andrew's iPhone, not I'm a boss. Uh, Sidian's iPad! Hey, hey, hey! So if you see there's a little lock thing next to it, you're gonna click on that. And you can click mine, this is what it's usually like. And then I just clicked reserve, and now mine is point four forever! Um, <laughs> it's really different depending on your, you know, what your router is. But you really don't need to do this. It just makes it a lot easier if you collaborate very frequently. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you got helped out by this. I meant to say I hope I helped you out by this. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, again, send me pictures and I can help you with uh, your port forwarding settings and crap. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Come re-subscribe. Sydney and Gaming.